What's up guys, welcome to Apex, thanks for tuning in. Today we have got a very exciting news for all the Galaxy S23 series users out there. We have started getting the One UI 6.1 upgrade based on 6.1.1 with all the brand new features. Here I've got the Galaxy S23 Ultra. This is a fantastic device even today. I just love it over any other phone. And I'm so glad that we have got this update on this device. In this video, let's take a look at some amazing features we have got. And I'll also compare the change log with the Galaxy S24 Ultra. Let's if there is any feature being skipped for the Galaxy S23 series. Before we go ahead, if you're interested in this beautiful looking home screen wallpaper here, I have left the link for that in the description. Go ahead, download it. Every video I post will have a brand new wallpaper. And yeah, if you hit that subscribe button, you will become a part of this growing uh, community and you will not miss out on any new updates, new features, tips and tricks for about your Android phones, specifically the uh, Samsung Galaxy phones and the Galaxy watches. So go ahead, hit the subscribe button and become a part of this Apex community. Now let's dive right into the video. Let me go to the settings and uh, tap on software update. And here let me tap on download and install. Here it is, we've got the Galaxy AI features and uh, we also have many other features available here. Let me just scroll down and show you guys the size here. This is about 2763.98 MB and this size is slightly smaller compared to the S24 Ultra's uh, update that we got. The version number ends with CXH7. It says uh, One UI version 6.1 and the second Security patch is still August 2024 for some reason this is kind of strange we should have got the September security patch so we are going to get one more update in the next few days for the latest security patch so for now we have got the August security patch and the latest One UI 6.1 upgrade. Now let me just scroll uh, all the way up and uh, show you the change log here and let's compare this with the Galaxy S24 Ultra's change log. Now here we got the S24 Ultra. Now if you're interested in this beautiful looking wallpaper, you can again uh, go ahead and check the link in the description. Uh, both the wallpapers are available for you to download from the description. Now let me open the gallery over here. I have saved the screenshot of the change log of this latest update. Let me open that here. First, let me show you the size here uh, on the S24 Ultra. You see it's about 3085.73 uh, uh, MB, uh, which is just over 3 GB size. And uh, even on this one, we had uh, received only the August security patch. So we are still awaiting the September security patch on the Galaxy S24 Ultra. Now let's go to the change log here. Let's compare this and see if they have skipped anything. And while you do that, I'll tap on resume download. It is gonna take about two minutes plus for this uh, entire 2.8 GB to download. Uh, let's Let's uh, wait for that. Now, meanwhile, uh, let's scroll this up. Uh, let's see what are the uh, features here. We've got turn simple sketches into awesome images, create unique portraits, let your phone do writing uh, for you, translate calls in more applications, translate image text on web pages, translate in listening mode, uh, turn voice recording into notes. Uh, we have got translate summarize PDFs, autocorrect language in voice recorder, edit voice recordings and transcripts. Yes, we have got one feature missing here on the S23 series. That is the uh, wallpaper with special weather effects. We still do not have the uh, photo ambient wallpaper uh, on the S23 series. I believe looking at the change log, that is what it says. So this feature is still missing on the S23 series. Be wary of that. Uh, now let's scroll down. Let's check out these changes in the gallery. We have got uh, live effects. We have got live effects here as well. Quick save, share, instant slow-mo clips. We have got slow-mo clips uh, feature here. Uh, we've got uh, create fun animated stickers and GIFs. We've got that on the S23 Ultra. Clip just what you need. We have this here. And then we've got all the health-centric features here. Uh, we have discover new insights and stay motivated. Monitor your uh, energy levels. Uh, get more detailed sleep analysis. Make your own workout routines. And then we have got connect cycling power uh, power meters. We have got all of them here on the S23 series. Here we've got some productivity features, suggested actions for smart select, enhanced multi-window experience, copying and moving, create file shortcuts on the home screen, improved thumbnail image display, uh, highlight your schedule, and we've got automate your watch with modes and routines, more message filtering options, and uh, then we have got even more improvements here. Design and share your profile card. We've got skim through videos quickly, answer calls with a tap instead of swipe, answer calls using speaker, uh, get frequent weather updates. Uh, we've got get frequent weather updates here. 
extra strong security, enhanced assistant menu. So we have got all the features that we have on the S24 Ultra, now on the S23 Ultra with this all new update, except for one feature which was missing even on One UI 6.1 when we got it for the S23 Ultra. Uh, that is the photo ambient wallpaper which has been uh, made available only for the latest Galaxy S24 series, not for the S23 series. So we don't have that feature and rest of it have arrived on the S23 Ultra. Kudos to Samsung for not skipping any of these features from the S24 Ultra. This is actually great. Now what we will do is we are going to go ahead and install the update on the S23 Ultra. Let me just quickly brief you on all the new features that we have got. I have already posted these videos but for the S23 series users I will show you all the new features that we have. Let me go ahead and tap on install now. This is going to take a few minutes. I will come back to you in a bit. All right now the software has been updated. Let me tap on OK. Now let's go ahead and see how the phone is behaving. Uh, let's see the animations. Let's open a few applications and see how it is uh, going. Uh, if there is any status or lags let's go ahead and see that. Now let me go ahead and open the quick panel here. It's pretty smooth. Let me press and hold on the home screen. You see again here it's very smooth. Let me open a few applications. The animation is actually very smooth as usual. Uh, I would say it has improved a bit on the S23 Ultra for some reason I'm feeling that. Let me know what do you think about the animations now whether it has improved or is it the same as before. Drop a comment and let me know. Now let me just go to the recent applications. Again it's very smooth here. Let me uh, close this application. Let's close all of them here. It is running very smoothly without any stutters or lags. Now about the battery performance results, I will have to take a couple of days time and then get back to you guys and let you know how is the battery performance. So I will post a review video soon about One UI 6.1 update on the S23 Ultra. So stay tuned for that video. Now let's go ahead and take a look at a few new features that we have. The first one is sketch to image. Let me open the edge panel here. We have got uh, these two new icons over here. We've got sketch to image right here. And we also have a brand new smart select here. Let me tap on sketch to image. It says turn your doodles into masterpieces, transform simple drawings into captivating works of art and uh, add creative new elements to existing images. This is actually a brilliant feature that Samsung has introduced on the Galaxy phones. Let me tap on OK. Now this is the screen that you're going to get. You can uh, draw, scribble, whatever you want here. You can sketch it and uh, convert that image into a beautiful looking, uh, you know, colorful images. Now let me tap on start. Uh, let me just draw a cat here. Now we've got options like watercolor, illustration, sketch, pop art and 3D. I'll select 3D and tap on generate. <laughs> you see this is how it looks. I didn't actually sketch it properly. Uh, so whatever I have sketched it is showing me here. But of course you can draw some nice looking images and uh, uh, convert them into these uh, beautiful looking portraits. Now uh, let me uh, open this again. Now we have got this option here three dot button. I can tap on this to change the transparency. I can change the transparency here and then see what is there in the background and draw the uh, or sketch the image image uh, based on the background that we have. That's another fantastic feature we have. And if you want to remove these options from the edge panel you can do that as well. All you need to do is just tap on this uh, pencil icon, tap on the three dot button, just disable show sketch to image or uh, show smart select options here uh, and you're good to go. It will just disappear from the uh, edge panel here. Now let me show you the all new smart select also. Let me tap on smart select feature here. You see it selects the entire screen. We can tap or draw to select a particular portion. Let me draw on this. You see we can crop it further and uh, we get to uh, add this image to the note. We can copy it, share it or download this image to the gallery or we can tap on text to select all the text from here. Tap on three dot button to pin this particular image and do the multitasking. Uh, so all this is possible with this brand new uh, smart select feature. The previous version of smart select has been removed and this is the all new smart select with uh, the AI integration on the Galaxy S23 Ultra. Next one is AI generated portrait images. Let me show you that. Let's go to the gallery. Here I've got a portrait image. Let me tap on uh, this icon here and then we tap on the AI icon and this is where you get to see portrait studio. Now this portrait studio may not appear on all the images. You have to make sure you have opened a portrait image. Let me tap on portrait studio and here I've got cosmic 3D cartoon watercolor sketch. Uh, let me tap on sketch here and tap on generate. Now AI will convert this a portrait image into a beautiful looking sketch. It takes a few seconds and uh, here we go. We have got the sketch here. You can uh, download this right from here. I can slide towards the right to see some more options here. 
and uh, if I want to change it to watercolor, I can change it right from here. Let me tap on 3D cartoon and generate it. Let's see how it looks. Here we go. We have got the 3D cartoons here and they all look pretty cool. And we can uh, tap on generate again to generate it. That is AI generated portrait for you guys. Next one is a feature called composer on a Samsung keyboard. Now let's say you are writing something on an email or uh, something, uh, posting something on the social media. Uh, tap on this AI icon. This is where you will find composer option. Just tap on that and uh, you can uh, write whatever you want here i'll just type leave email and uh, here we can select email or uh, social media comment standard and then uh, we have got professional casual and polite let me select professional and tap on generate now you can see with just two words it is going to create the entire email here which is just fantastic you can further edit it or copy it and insert it onto the email in a Jiffy just by tapping on these options here. If you want to refresh it, you can just tap on refresh. It will uh, recreate that, uh, that entire uh, text and we'll be able to keep refreshing it to uh, rewrite these messages based on our requirement. So that is Smart Compose feature that we have got. Next, we can turn our voice recordings into notes. You can just open Samsung Notes here and uh, create a new note and tap on this plus button here to add a voice recording. Now let me just uh, add a voice recording here. What's up guys, welcome to Apex, thanks for tuning in. Uh, finally, we have got a brand new update for the Galaxy S23 Ultra. This is the latest One UI 6.1 uh, with all the brand new AI features. Now let me just stop this. Now you see we have got a brand new option here transcribe your voice recordings into notes. And when I tap on this, it will convert that voice recording. It will auto format, summarize, spell check and translate text, transcribe and summarize recordings, decode notes with AI generated covers and images, all with note assist. Now this is the note assist feature. Uh, let me tap on OK. Now you see it is just uh, transcripting this particular uh, audio file that we just saved. It is taking a few seconds and then it will give us the transcript here. And then we also have summary of it. You can just tap on summary to get the summary of that transcript. This is a brilliant feature if you are someone who take a lot of uh, audio notes uh, or if you're a student, this is gonna be very, very helpful. You can just add those audio notes here and transcribe it and save it. Next, we can translate and summarize the PDF files now. Let me just open the uh, files application. Here we have got a PDF file. Let me tap on this and open it on Samsung Notes application. Now here you see we have got an option right here on top. This is the AI icon. I can tap on this to summarize or translate this PDF file, which is amazing. The next feature is called Live FX. This is hidden inside the gallery application. Let me open gallery. Now let me open any of the images here. Now uh, let me swipe up. This is where you will get to see the live effect feature. You see it is showing up right here. This will not show up on all the images. Be wary of that. Uh, on some of the images, you get to see this live effect. Let me tap on this. Now this is adding the live effect to this particular image and this will be saved as a video file. You see, it looks beautiful. We have got this 3D parallax kind of an effect. We have got the uh, background moving, especially when there is depth uh, in the background, you will see this kind of an effect. Uh, you can directly tap on share or save it to the gallery. It will be saved in video format. Next, we can now clip what we exactly need from an image. Let me show you that. Let me open the gallery application. We have got an image here. Uh, let's say if I want to remove myself, I can just press and hold on my image. I can remove myself here. And let's say I want to remove my wife's image here. I can just press and hold on this and remove this image. Now we can remove these objects separately. Earlier this was not possible. Whenever you press and hold on an image, it clips both the images together, which is separated from the background. Uh, now we will be able to separately remove this, which is a fantastic feature. We can directly save this as a sticker or we can share it right from here. Uh, this is a brand new feature we have. Next feature is saving or sharing a slow motion clip right from where we watch it on the video. Let me open the gallery here and let me open a particular video file here. Now, when I press and hold on this video, it will start the slow motion clip. I can keep watching it. I can remove my finger to stop the slow motion clip. And right from here, I can download it. Earlier, this wasn't there. We can tap on download to save that slow motion clip and I can save it from the gallery after downloading it. That's a brand new feature we have. Next, we have got enhanced multi-window experience for picture-in-picture -picture mode. Let's say you are watching a video on YouTube uh, and if you go to the picture-in-picture -picture mode here, of course, this picture-in-picture -picture mode is a premium feature in India, but in some of the countries, including US, picture-in-picture -picture mode in YouTube may be free, so be wary of that. Now, uh, this is the picture-in-picture -picture mode for YouTube. And let's say now I want to open this in split screen. All I need to do 
is just press and hold on it and drag it towards the top side or to the bottom to open this uh, picture in picture view into a split screen view. This is another enhancement we have got for uh, opening picture in picture mode in split screen view. Next, let me open files application, my files. Now here, uh, let me open images. Now on the top, we've got this three dot button, tap on that and tap on view. You see, we have got this brand new option called real ratio. When you tap on this, all these images and videos thumbnail will show up in the real ratio. That's another feature. Next feature is creating shortcuts for the folders on the home screen. Now, if you're inside the My Files application, just press and hold on a particular folder or a file, just drag it and use the other finger to go to the home screen and drop it on the home screen. Now, this is a new feature, but for some reason, this is not functioning properly on the S23 Ultra. Let me do this again. Let's say I want to uh, select this particular album or this particular folder, I'll drag it, go to the home screen and drop, drop it on the home screen here. Yeah, this is working here. Uh, for one of the folders, it did not work. Maybe I selected a wrong folder, which is not uh, supported, or maybe there's some bug. Now, uh, we are able to add these folder shortcuts right on the home screen by just dragging and dropping it on the home screen. And another new enhancement here is, let's say you want to uh, copy something and paste it uh, somewhere else. Earlier, we had to copy and then go to that folder and paste it. But now when you tap on copy, it will show up this pop-up, which will show all the folders that you have on My Files application. And you have OneDrive, Google Drive, just tap on the folder that you want to copy this to and it will literally get copied. Now these features are One UI 6.1 features. At the same time, these are uh, the features which are uh, available on the latest My Files application. Even if you don't have One UI 6.1 upgrade, you will still be able to see these changes on your phone. Let's take a look at the next feature. Let me tap on uh, the phone application. I'll tap on the three dot button and tap on settings. Now here we have got a couple of brand new features. Let me tap on answering and ending call. You can see this orange dot here, which says that there are new features here. Now here, uh, gesture to answer calls, uh, we can tap or swipe to answer calls now, which is an amazing feature. I will select tap. Now, whenever you get a call, you can just tap on that uh, receive button to receive that call, or you can select the swipe, which was there earlier. And we also have got this new feature answer using speaker. You can enable this to use the speaker by default when there is no headset or Bluetooth device connected. You will be able to straight away uh, talk to somebody on the speaker phone if you enable this. The moment you uh, receive the phone call, it will go to the speaker mode. The next brand new feature is creating profile card. Let me open phone application. I will tap on contacts. Now you've got the profile option right here on the top. I'll tap on this. Now this is my profile card, which I've already selected. Uh, if I want to further edit it, just tap on edit. Now you see on the top, you will be able to see edit profile card. Let me tap on this. This is how the profile card would look. It says your image will be cropped to a square, so it will fit the widest screen sizes when it's shown on other people's devices. On most phones, it will appear narrower. So this is what you're going to see on most of the Samsung Galaxy phones, which supports profile card. Let me tap on OK. Now uh, you can also use uh, Portrait Studio here to change your image to cosmic 3D cartoon watercolor or sketch and then set it as profile card. Now uh, you can change the text here. You can uh, customize this further and we've got FX which can be customized as well. And then just uh, go back and tap on done to save this particular profile card. Let me uh, just select the different effect. I'll select this effect and I'll go back tap on done and my profile card has been saved right here. This is another interesting feature we have here. Next, we have got a brand new security feature on auto blocker option. Let me just go to the settings and tap on security and privacy. And here you will be able to see auto blocker option. Now you can turn this on if you want to keep your phone safe by blocking threats and other suspicious activities. I'll tap on this. Now when I enable this, you see we've got this brand new option at the bottom, maximum restrictions. I can enable this to turn on app protection, block device admin apps, block hyperlinks and previews, block shared albums, remove location data when sharing pictures. Now this is super restricted uh, feature. Uh, you may have some issues attaching your images on WhatsApp or other uh, applications. So think before enabling this feature, uh, uh, if you really want it, you can go ahead and enable maximum restrictions. Uh, otherwise, you can just uh, keep this turned off, but you can turn on the auto blocker if you want. Now, these are some uh, important features that we have received on the Galaxy S23 Ultra. There are many other minor features as well, which I have already discussed.
discussed on my channel. I will compile all the features that I've discussed and stitch it together to make one single video uh, and post it very soon so that that can be very useful for you guys. Whenever you want to jump back in and get to know about these features, you can watch that video. I will post that very soon, maybe in a day or two. So stay tuned for that video and uh, let me know what do you think about all these new features. Uh, drop a comment, which is your favorite feature. Let me know. I'm sure most of you like the sketch to image feature. Let me know which one is your favorite feature uh, on the latest one y 6.1 and uh, while you do that while you leave a comment go ahead and subscribe to the channel and give this video a like if you find this video informative thanks for watching my name is salian signing off cheers bye bye